anyone out there this morning? It's Tuesday, it's been snowing, the snow is melting, and I'm sewing like there's no tomorrow, preparing for my upcoming markets. I've got one in Loughborough this coming Sunday at the Sock Gallery, Town Hall. That's from 11 to 4, 5, 11 to 5. And that coincides with the Christmas light switch on, so it's going to be super festive. And then the very next weekend, 30th of November, 1st of December, I'll be at the Guildhall in Leicester all weekend, thankfully with Sophia to help me because that's a busy one. And I'm just busy sewing all the things to get ready. I need to make sure I've got plenty of makeup bags and plenty of jumbo toiletry bags to go with the makeup bags because they seem to be really popular right now. Um, I make these in laminated cotton, which is a soft, squishy feel, waterproof fabric, not at all like oil cloth. This fabric is eco-friendly. Um, it has a water-based coating. It's washable, wipe clean, and um, really durable. It has a really nice feel to it. And it's the one thing people ask me at my markets, is it easy to sew? Well, it is easy to sew. You don't need a special machine for this. You don't need um, an industrial machine. My machine is domestic. I'm not even using a special foot for this fabric because it's, it's got a matte finish. It's not, it's not glossy. So I thought I'd demonstrate how I finish these off. Um, I set my machine to a longer stitch. All I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm adding, I'm finishing off that top edge so it's nice and neat inside as well. So that, so that when you open the bag, the, the fabric inside doesn't catch with the zip. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just finishing off the bigger bags. I've got eight to finish this morning and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, so I'll just show you what I'm doing. Now, all I do, you set your machine to a longer stitch length. Um, if you use short stitches with laminated cotton, they kind of bunch up and they make more holes. So I, I stitch with a longer stitch length. Um, this one's actually a size five length. And I just slowly go round. Don't need to iron this fabric. You just finger press it on both sides and I use some some clips to hold it down and then I just slowly make my way around probably going a bit faster than I'd like for the purpose of this demonstration I wonder if anyone's actually watching me live right now say hi if you are please <laughs> the last time I went live on my Facebook page must have been before COVID when I still had my nice big fat Facebook page which Facebook deleted without any reason. So here I am trying to <laughs> build up my following again, and it's taken a few years to find you all again. So if you're watching me, give me a thumbs up and say hi. <laughs> right, concentrate, Louise, concentrate. Ugh. The thing is, because I can't press the fabric down with an iron, I have to make sure it's smooth as it feeds under the machine. So probably, this probably isn't the right thing to demonstrate on a live, <laughs> but here I am. Okay, we're getting to the side seam, which is a bit bulky, so bear with. Right. Oh, and we made it. Right. Make sure it's nice and flat underneath. This better look good when I've finished it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm in trouble. You can tell I don't talk to many humans during the day because I'm very chatty on this live, aren't I? Right, we're on the home stretch, guys. The thing I like about laminated cotton 
Well, there are lots of reasons why I sew with laminated cotton. The main factor being it's eco-friendly. It's not oil cloth. It's not, um, not full of nasty chemicals that can affect the en environment. Um, it is biodegradable because it's cotton-based. It's so easy to sew. I've got, I'm, I'm just using a sharp Microtex needle. Hi, Michaela. Um, sharp Microtex needle on my domestic machine. And um, going slow. You just have to go slow and you won't mess up. Right, I'm almost at the end so that I can switch this off, but if you do have any questions, feel free to ask. Right, almost there. <sighs> Seems to be working. Actually sold out of these lovebird um, these lovebird toiletry bags I sold out at my last event so I've, I've had to make more right and then all you do at the end when you reach the end of your stitching you reduce the stitch so the st that you reduce the stitch length because um, to back stitch at the end to secure the stitches with laminated cotton, I find stitches can unravel a bit um, at the start and finish. Um, and, then, and then you'll find all the stitches will unravel and they'll leave holes in the fabric. So by, by reducing your stitch length to do your back stitch, um, it secures it properly in place. Because we don't want a bag unraveling and someone goes and buys it. Right, almost done. Okay, let's have a look. Let me just check. Yeah, it's all nice and neat on the inside. Ooh, I wonder if you can see that. Ooh. You can see my stitching. I don't know if you can see it. It's very dark today. But yeah, all I have to do now, which I will do in a minute, but I'm not going to do on air, um, I'm going to add a little faux leather zippy tab to the end of that just to give it a nice professional finish. But other than that, that's my jumbo toiletry bag. I sell these on my website and on Etsy. Um, I offer them made to order. And um, these are £36. The smaller one is £16. If you buy them together, um, it's fifty pounds. It's, you save a little bit there, and it just it makes a really neat gift for someone. You just pop it inside, and you're good to go. Well, thanks for watching, and um, maybe I'll show you another live if you're interested in future. Bye, bye, Michaela. Bye.